how to import Theo private keys and seed phrases into the Garda wallet. Um, I'll be showing you on Garda desktop. Right now, Theo is integrated only into Garda desktop and the web versions. It's not integrated into the mobile version, so this will only work on desktop and browser. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going out to the in Coleman uh, BIP39 site. And I'm just going to generate a random Theo uh, uh, seed phrase here. So here is a seed phrase uh, I need to pick and then we can actually pick Theo out of the drop down here so we can actually go down and browse the public private keys uh, that came from that seed phrase. So let's right now let's select this seed phrase and we'll import it into Garda. So I'm going to pull up the Garda um, desktop wallet. Uh, I'm going to go up here to on the menu backups and keys. And then I'm going to select import by currency and let's go ahead and select FIO from the currency here. And I'm just going to paste that seed phrase into um, it, as you can see, it takes a private key mnemonic with or XPRB. So I'm going to paste in the uh, mnemonic phrase. I'm going to say add wallet. Uh, and it says the wallet has been successfully imported. So I'll go back to my wallets. I actually have a few field wallets in here. So this is the new one, field protocol four, that was just added there. And if we look at uh, this public key here, we can compare it to what's shown out. So the FIO 781, if you go down, that should be one of the public keys down here. And in fact, that's the public key uh, that was um, part of the import. Uh, and then you get access to the entire hierarchy of public private key pairs when importing the seed phrase. If you want to import just a single uh, private key, let's just go down and pick one of these FIO private keys from the list here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back to the um, Garda wallet and let's go back to backup and keys. Let's go back to import by currency again, select FIO. And this time I'm just going to paste in the private key here. Um, and add wallet again. So it says wallet has been successfully imported. I go back to my wallets. I should now have yet another FIO wallet in there. And we see the FIO 7 and I can kind of uh, move this up or uh, down here a little bit. Let's move this up there and get back to my card of wallet here. And we can see that the key that was imported corresponds to this FIO 7 CRT uh, public key there. So it successfully imported a FIO private key. Uh, that's it. Thanks.